I gotta be careful out here, man. I don't wanna get busted. I got some really bad news, guys. Unfortunately, I'm gonna probably be forced to sell my most beloved, the most fun motorcycle that I've ever owned. This custom 2019 YZ 450 FX Supermoto. I'm gonna tell you about that and give you an update on what's going on with me. Stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today make sure you guys are staying safe out there on the streets i tell you i never leave home without my airbag vest this will help keep you safe out there i have a link to this airbag vest along with my ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet with auto tint shield which is my most favorite helmet motor vlog camera and all my gear i have links to in the description and comment section of this video I'm going to tell you guys, out of all the motorcycles I ever had, this is the most fun motorcycle. Absolutely love it. I did a full build series on this custom Supermoto. I have a link to it in the description and comment section of this video. Um, but unfortunately, I'm going to probably be forced to sell this bike because I'm most likely going to be moving to the North Georgia Mountains. I have a deal on the table right now, but it could go through because I've been on under five contracts, guys, so far <laughs> that have fallen through because of problems with the property or the house or something, man. I did a couple of videos and tours on some of the properties. I'll include the link on that bug out van trip I took down to North Carolina uh, several months ago where I was going to buy that house on 10 acres. Oh, man, this is crazy. Oh, I made the wrong turn. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought there would be like more. Okay, here's a trail. Man, this will look, this could probably work with a side-by-side. -side. If you haven't seen that video, I have the link to that in the description and comment section of this video, along with that 40 acre property, a riverfront property that I was gonna get, but that fell through because it was a, a, a pond that had some crappy algae problem and it was the water source for the house. So I got out of that dude tried to scam me on that deal and I lost a thousand dollars on that. Um, I have that video link too in the description and comment section of this video. So I'm hoping that this one will go through in the Georgia mountains, but uh, unfortunately in Georgia, they don't allow you to plate um, this bike. They have a list of banned motorcycles and this is one of them because this is an off course race dirt bike. Um, they don't they don't like they don't take too kindly to that, I guess, in Georgia or actually, I believe in North Carolina as well. If you live in those states, let me know if there's a way like a loophole that I can get out of that. Um, but I was also thinking, though, if I didn't sell it, that I was going to put on the, the dirt bike wheels, you know, the, the wheels, dirt wheels that came with this and just turn it back into a dirt bike. Um, what's cool about this bike is you can actually tune the power with your smartphone and dumb down the power to almost like a 250. So because a 450 really is way too much power for the for the woods, man. 250 is all you need or even less than that. Yeah, you know, one reason why I want to get out of Ohio right now, I'm in an HOA and I want to put some bug out vehicles in my property because I was thinking about doing another build, um, doing a shuttle bus build uh, for a second bug out vehicle. Um, that I can, you know, live in out of it with my motorcycle like I have my other bug out van. Uh, if you haven't seen the full tour I did on my bug out moto van, I'll have the link in the description and comment section of this video. I love that van, dude. I'm not selling that. Um, but I want to have a bunch of bug out vehicles on my property. So that's why I want to live out in the country, man. And uh, so hopefully that deal will come through. Um, but I'm also thinking that it is possible that maybe I could... Uh, keep this house and then buy the house down in Georgia the Georgia mountains and just stay there like six months out of the year in the winter time you know when the winter's better than it is up here and I can the other six months I can rent it out via Airbnb so I can turn that into a business property but still enjoy it and then have this property here in the summertime and that way I can keep the plate on this bike so that's another option because, you know, if I do go down to Georgia, I wanted to get two properties if I sell this house um, because I want one for Airbnb short term you know, rental and I want to have one as a main residence. So I don't know. What do you guys think, man? Leave a comment below. Um, should I even move to the North Georgia mountains <laughs> or the North Carolina mountains? Uh, should I do that or should I go somewhere else is better? Um, I don't like super hot weather. I like all four seasons. 
So that's why I like the and I love the mountains. You know, I used to live in, in Colorado and loved it out there. But this bike, guys, I'm selling this 2020 Yamaha MT-09 with low miles. I just bought it in July of last year. It's still under factory warranty until July of this year. Um, I did put the full Akrapovich exhaust on there. <laughs> I flash the ECU. I have the fender eliminator kit. Um, it comes with the stock seat, an aftermarket seat, and the flash tuner. This has a stock ECU, by the way, and you can return it back to the stock settings. So if you ever have any trouble at all you can, and you don't want to avoid the warranty, you can just take that DinoJet ECU flasher, which I have a link to, by the way, in the description and comment section of this video. You can do on other bikes as well, where you can actually, it keeps the settings from your stock ECU. And you can, uh, and then you can flash it whenever you want to. So, yeah, that's gonna come with this bike. Uh, hit me up uh, in the email, my business email, if you want to buy this bike. So I'll be putting this bike up for sale here. It's for sale now, technically, officially. Um, amazing bike, guys. I did a full review on that. I have a link to that in the description and comment section of this video. Um, I love the low end grunt on this bike, uh, but there's. Two bikes that I have in mind that I want right now. Um, if you haven't seen the last video I did where I, I went shopping, um, go check that out. But um, if I were to sell this bike, I would replace it with a, a, a brand new KTM 690 SMCR Supermoto. Um, or I was going to get uh, possibly a new 2021 uh, KTM 1290 Super Duke Double R that's coming out. It's supposed to be 40 pounds lighter than the current one. It's got a bunch of fixings on it, but it's going to be like $20,000 plus dollars. The only thing is, man, that's, I don't really need a liter bike like I told you on the streets. It's too much power, man, for the streets. I, I, that's why I like this bike because it's got a lot of low-end grunt torque on the bottom, which is fun on the street. You don't need top end, man. That just gets you in trouble, put you in a, you know, get you a felony and get your bike impounded, put you in jail with the booty warrior. So I don't, the only reason I like the, the Super Duke and I really want to try it because it has a ton of torque and I bought all about that torque. You know what I'm saying? I like that torque, boy. It's got 100 pound feet of torque. Woo! That's why I love this bike, man. It's got all that torque. It's a wheelie machine. But I don't know if the, if the KTM 690 uh, Super Duke can replace this bike, though, man. This bike, 265 pounds, super lightweight. It's raw, wild. Doesn't have any of the emissions crap on it, man. I love this bike, guys. The 690 is like. Uh, 345 pounds wet, man, which I could probably maybe take a good 15 pounds off of that. Um, but still, it ain't going to be like this bike, man. So I don't know, guys. I'm telling you, man, I really don't want to sell this. So that's why I'm thinking of keeping this house, man, and, and just getting the house down in Georgia and being a snowbird. You know, come back up here in the summer and go down there in the winter. So I don't know. What do you guys think, man? Also, by the way, this golf cart, I'm going to flip this, too. Um, I put a stereo system on here um, for like a hundred bucks, man. And I put this on top, customize, and put this on on here. And I have a rear seat that folds out into a bed right there. I have yet to put it on this thing. I only paid like three hundred bucks for that. And I picked this up for seven hundred dollars, guys. And I'm gonna flip it this spring, probably for thirty five hundred dollars, make a twenty four hundred dollar profit on there. That was a sick find right there, man. I just wanted this video just kind of give you an update and let you guys know what's going on with me. I still have some moto vlogs I have yet to edit. Uh, like I said, leave a comment below. Let's talk about it. I love uh, conversing with you guys. You guys always help me out. I uh, appreciate all you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my All the One Motorcycle channel. Make sure to check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. Just enjoy yourself out here. Stay safe. Wear all the gear. I have links to all my gear. This is some of the best gear, especially airbag vest to help keep you safe. And of course, this ultra lightweight helmet, auto tent shield. Link in the description and comment section of this video. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.